Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Kuber. I am an ICCRC licensed immigration consultant. This channel is all about Canadian immigration news, updates, things you should do, things you definitely should not. Uh, this video is about the recent uh, ban that has been imposed by Canada for flights that are originating or rather the travelers that are originating from certain countries. On 26th of November, Canada had announced this ban to be uh, applied to seven uh, different countries in southern part of the African continent. This has now been extended to three other countries, which is Egypt, uh, Malawi and uh, Nigeria. So these three countries also join the other seven. Starting here uh, this morning, uh, Justin Trudeau said that Canada may need to do more to combat uh, Omicron uh, COVID-19 variant. And uh, he said that obviously they are watching very closely the situation with Omicron. And uh, though, I mean, even though Canada has strong border measures, they may need to do something more than that. And then from there on, they have increased the number of countries. Uh, the travelers from these countries can no longer come to Canada if they have uh, passed between these countries in the last 14 days. Let's hear what uh, Omar Al Gabra had to say here. Today, to confront the Omicron challenge, we are taking additional action to prevent further importation and spread. Canadians and permanent residents who have been to any of the 10 countries that Minister Duclos listed, even those who are fully vaccinated, must be tested before entering Canada. Starting tonight, these tests cannot have been administered in any of the countries the Minister named. This means that Canadians will need to stop and obtain valid results in a third country before entering Canada. Upon entering Canada, these travelers with a right of entry will be tested again and required to wait in a designated quarantine facility until the result of their day one test result is known. Well, this then means that uh, if you are now arriving into Canada, all travelers will now have to undergo mandatory on arrival uh, COVID testing and uh, you will have to isolate yourself until you get the result of your COVID test. Obviously, if the result is, is negative, then you can be on your way. If obviously it's uh, not uh, negative, then there would be a requirement for further uh, uh, quarantine and testing. So if you are traveling from any of these 10 countries, you cannot come to Canada directly. You will have to route yourself from a third country. You will have to obtain a negative COVID PCR test from those countries, whichever is a, the transit country, and then take your flight onto Canada. And obviously, once you arrive in Canada, you will have to go through the mandatory on arrival testing. Having said that, you also need to keep in mind that at this point of time, it's a developing situation. Uh, as of right now, six positive cases with this Omicron virus have been reported uh, in, in Canada. So it, it remains a concern. Please, there are a lot of rumors that we have been hearing about a ban being extended to countries in India and the subcontinent. At this point of time, that rumor that's just a rumor. There is no ban to in any country in, in the Asian continent at this point of time. As I said, this is this is a developing story. We'll see how it goes. And as usual, we'll keep you updated. At at this point of time, I will just repeat, there are 10 countries, all of them in the African continent. These are the only countries from where the flight ban is there or the traveler ban is there. So the people will have to route themselves to a different country, take a negative COVID PCR test before they come into Canada. Uh, and this is, uh, and if you are a foreign national, so you're not a permanent resident, you are not a Canadian, you do not have a right to entry. Then if you are a traveler who is who has been to these countries in the last 14 days, you will not be able to travel at this point of time. If you arrive in Canada, you will have to take a negative COVID PCR test. Well, that's, that's all from me now, and I shall keep you updated as and how we go on. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit on that like button so that others can also get to see this video. I shall see you next time. Stay safe, take care, good night.